Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Now today I'm going to the post office. I'm going to try to record this conversation. I don't know if it's going to work, but I just want you to experience the moment with me. And then we'll talk again. So I'm just about to walk in uh, to act normal, pretend that I'm not recording. And uh, after that, uh, I'll explain to you what was said and what happened. Okay, so it's uh, raining a lot here right now, pouring in fact, so I really hope the weather improves. Uh, so I'm just here in the post office, just waiting to uh, post this parcel. I don't know how long I'll be here, probably just a, a moment or two. So let's see. Hi, just a parcel to go to BT. It's all to be paid in there. Yeah, there we are. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks very much. Yeah. There we are. That's lovely. Thanks very much. See you. Right, so that's my parcel posted, which was uh, quite easy. So let me just explain a little bit about what happened there. So um, you probably couldn't hear the audio very well. So I'll just quickly explain. So I had a package in my hand. It's my old Wi-Fi router, oh, the joys of modern living in the first world. And uh, I had a prepaid package to give to him. So I said, can I send this back to BT, which is the Wi-Fi provider? Uh, and of course, he w I'm not sure if you heard him. He was an Indian man. And he kind of asked me to straighten the package a little bit so he could scan it. So he asked me to hold the package up to the window because he's talking to me through glass. So I had to hold the package up to the window so he could scan it. And he said, oh, could you just straighten that a bit for me? Could you straighten that? Uh, meaning, could you turn it around a bit so I can scan it? I mean, I don't know why he didn't just open the window, take the parcel and scan it. This is because of COVID. Honestly, one of these days, British people are going to stop communicating with each other completely. It's a, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Talking to people through glass and... Uh, trying to scan things through glass. Anyway, uh, then he said, OK, come here. And he took, the, he, took, he took me, or he sent me, to the end of the counter so that uh, he could open a little lid somewhere. And in that lid, uh, I could pass the parcel through. Honestly, <laughs> it's not easy trying to get anything done here. But uh, he took it and it's gone. It was already prepaid, thanks, uh, thankfully. So that was the post office. Now, these post offices here in the UK, they're actually uh, always in little corner shops or in pharmacies or in supermarkets. It's kind of unusual to find an actual post office standalone, if you know what I mean. And that's because the way the franchise works is you can have a post office anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be uh, in a post office shop. It can be in a newsagent. And so more and more of them are in these little corner shops, often run by Indians, which is nice. A bit of diversity. In fact, most of our corner shops are run by Indians and they usually have a little post office. They're very good. I like them. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the story of the post office. So I hope you've enjoyed this and let's talk again soon. Thank you and goodbye.